Hi, in today's video we will see what is ETF and how you can buy and sell ETFs and what is the advantages of buying an ETF. Okay, so first what is ETF? ETF is it is uh, it is known as exchange traded fund. Okay, so exchange traded fund in the sense uh, it is it is similar to mutual fund where your mutual in your mutual fund your money will be handled by a different fund manager and you will be paying in a certain uh, percentage of amount which is known as expense ratio okay so your money will be handled by a uh, fund manager through a mutual fund company so let's say there are a lot of uh, mutual funds uh, so if you choose any of the mutual fund let's say uh, axis bank mutual fund or sbi uh, multi cap or mid cap mutual fund there are a lot of mutual funds so if you choose a mutual fund and start investing in it then what happens uh, every month through an SIP or something you will be paying some amount and your fund manager will allocate that amount to a certain stocks which is uh, selected which is uh, which is shown in that mutual fund the, the selected scheme they will invest into that companies based on the percentage allocated to them. But here in uh, exchange traded fund what you are going to do is this ETF you are going to buy okay, from the normal market. So, so let's see now we have nifty and bank nifty as an indices. Now we will see only nifty and bank nifty. So now you wanted to buy this nifty because nifty has got top 50 companies of India top 50 uh, highest large cap companies of India which is there in nifty 50 basket now you can't buy nifty 50 okay see this is indices now you will have you, you will not have any option to uh, select buy option I'll show you now I'll, I'll add nifty 50 okay nifty 50 okay now this is indices now you cannot buy there is no buy option for you okay so this ETF if you select ETF okay you can buy this nifty 50 I'll show you how to select this ETF in your uh, broker terminal now what is the advantage of buying ETF is in case let's say you bought a stock okay and that stock you wanted to sell and you are holding it for uh, six months or one year and you wanted to sell that stock but when you really wanted to sell that stock there are no bias there are there are instances where you will not find any bias I'll show you through a money control website uh, there are few stocks in the last trading section there, there was no any bias on it see here you can see only sellers so these are the stocks which traded a last trading day okay uh, it's taking some time just a minute okay so so here you can see lips list of stocks okay see here you can see list of stocks here there was only sellers there were no buyers so that is the reason it is showing in red negative which means if there are no buyers for your stock then obviously the stock price will keep going down you wanted to sell it for 100 and there are no buyers then you started selling it for 98 rupees then also there are no buyers and then you wanted to give it for 95 rupees there are then also there are no buyers are coming to buy the stock this can happen to any of the stock irrespective of whatever the stock you are holding large cap mid cap small cap okay this can happen but uh, most probably this will happen for small cap companies so so large cap companies where the market share is more than 20,000 crore has been considered as a large cap and for mid cap anywhere between 5,000 to 20,000 uh, anywhere between 5,000 to 20,000 is considered as a mid cap companies and below 5,000 companies are considered as small cap companies so about 20,000 uh, market capital which uh, stocks are considered as large cap companies so if you select large cap companies and there are very less chance that you will have this trouble but 
if you have selected any mid cap or small cap companies so basically small cap companies will have this trouble where you will not be able to sell your stock even if it is in profit you will not be able to sell it because there are no buyers okay so this problem can happen to any of the stocks but you will not have that problem in your when you buy etf okay and also the liquidity for etf is very high so now i'll show you how you can buy this nifty 50 so you wanted to buy this nifty 50 which means 50 stocks in nifty okay it's, it's a basket of 50 stocks so you wanted to buy nifty 50 but since you don't have a option to buy here what you will do is you will add nifty bees okay if you if you type nifty bees you can see here it is showing nse bse nip ind etf nifty bees which is by which is nothing but nippon india etf nifty bees okay it, it is handled by nippon india so if you select that nifty bees here one nifty bees is trading at 185 rupees okay so which means this is the uh, this is one stock of nifty means uh, one part just just one part of nifty it is trading at 185.10 okay so uh, here you have an option to buy okay if you click on this buy button you will get same select long term select your quantity and market order or limit order if you wanted to buy for market order uh, you can select market order and uh, the margin required is 18,000 510 rupees to buy 100 stocks of nifty bees and if you click on buy it will buy okay same way if you wanted to sell you can once you have that in your demat account you can directly go and sell exactly as you sell your stocks there's no any difference but what is the major difference in etf is here you are not buying any stock you are buying the entire nifty itself so what is the advantage of buying this ETF is in case if nifty goes up your nifty bees will also go up what happens if you buy a stock you know, if, if nifty is going up and if your stock is not performing well your stocks will be in loss or it, it will be uh, it will not be growing as the nifty is going up okay so there are chances the, the you you bought let's say you have you have bought uh, it sector stocks okay now nifty is going up but it sector is coming down okay so it sector is coming down but nifty is going up the rest of the companies in the nifty 50 list out of 50 only it stocks are not performing the rest all the companies are performing well so the nifty is going up so your nifty your it stocks which you bought particularly will not go will not rise will not go up but in this nifty base if you buy this etf okay nifty base in case if nifty goes up this will also keep going okay this this has a correlation with nifty 50 if nifty goes up this will also go up. see if you see nifty nifty 50 map okay this is the chart see nifty 50 is anyhow it is going up only okay i'll show you a daily chart see nifty 50 is anyhow it is going up from 2020 it has fallen and it has given some one two percent three percent correction and it is still going up and in a long term also if you see 2015 2010 okay whatever the available data with us it is it is still going up it started from let's say it started from basically it started from zero it is going up from 2000 in 2012 it was around 4000 rupees in 2014 it was 6000 and again in 2016 it was around 6900 the i was around 8000 so it is it is still going up okay here here nifty is in the uptrend if indian economy is growing obviously the nifty will also grow but if your stocks are not performing well in nifty 50 then your stocks there are chances your stocks will not go up the nifty will keep going so that to catch that advantage you need to have this nifty you need to buy nifty 50 nifty bees in your portfolio okay 
So this is the advantage. And if you wanted to sell, you can immediately sell and get your money. It's not like a mutual fund where you have to, if you wanted to sell, you have to sell, you have, uh, there, there is some lock-in period for uh, three years or something, you cannot exit from the uh, mutual fund. So, but here in Nifty Biz, there is no any lock-in period. Okay. You have to, if you, if you need money, you can immediately sell and you can immediately uh, get the money. That is, in, in stocks, if there are no any buyers, you cannot sell. But in Nifty Biz, you will always have buyers. And buyers and sellers are always available. There is there is a lot of liquidity. If you wanted to exit, you can exit you and you can take back your money. So this is how this Nifty Bees work. And we will see the chart of Nifty Bees. Okay, now since Nifty is in the downtrend, you can see there's a lot of red bars. Okay, you can see there's a lot of red bars. I'll show you monthly data. Okay, you can see a lot, the, there are red bars that is because the nifty is in downtrend but in 2050 when nifty bees started it was around 87 rupees from 87 from 2015 to 2022 currently trading at 185 rupees which is more than 100 rupees okay that's because even nifty is also going up so nifty bees are also going up and the next etf Okay, so next ETF what we will see here is bank base. This is same like bank base. This is same like Nifty base, but this is this will be uh, uh, trading. This is uh, correlated to Nifty Bank. Same like Nifty 50, Nifty base for Nifty Bank, bank base. In case if Nifty Bank is going up, then your bank base will also go up. So this will track Nifty Bank. And you know Nifty Bank uh, has the basket of banking sectors like HDFC, ICIC, Access Bank, SBI. Okay, so they have only uh, banking stocks. I'll show you. I'll show you what are the stocks. Uh, one minute. See, these are the stocks available in Bank Nifty, HDFC, ICIC, SBI, Access Bank, Indus and Kotak Bank, AU Bank, Bandhan Bank, Federal Bank, IDFC First Bank, PNB and RBL Bank. So this is the basket of banks which is available in Bank Nifty. So if you buy bank base, in case Bank Nifty Bank is going up, okay, so all these banking sectors are performing well and Nifty Bank is going up then your NIF bank B will also go up, it will also grow. The current price of bank B is 379 rupees 85 paise. And if you look at the chart of bank B, okay. your bank B, okay, so it has started at 196 rupees, then the down was 134 again it went to 331 again in 2020 due to covid uh, pandemic this lockdown uh, it has fallen to 170 rupees then again now it is trading at 379 rupees so nifty bank is going up okay nifty bank is also trading higher because of that the, the value of bank bees are also going up okay so this tracks exactly the index so nifty bees will track nifty 50 and bank bees will track nifty bank okay so these are the advantage of buying ETFs you can exit whenever you like and you don't have to pay any uh, percentage of profit to this mutual fund companies you don't have to pay this expense ratio okay so the payment which you make for uh, handling your account so exp there is no any expense ratio paid to any of them this is same like how you buy and sell stocks through uh, yeah, exchange now this is handled by nse okay this is nifty bees there are there are both nse and bse it is both traded in nse and bse you can buy and sell at any time so today you you bought this 
ETF and after two days once it is credited back to your DMAT account from the next moment you can start selling it if you want if you can see if there is any profit you can directly go and sell and or if you need any uh, amount if you if it is urgent then you can sell and take your money back okay so this is the advantage of buying ETFs thank you so much